great cause for sure. <laughs> Let's check in with Joseph uh, and this uh, this really wild showery weather we've had for a couple of weeks now it just continues. And it continues tomorrow and likely heading through this week as well. So it's been busy this week and I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day, mainly the mothers out there. But if you were together with your family, I hope you uh, stay out of the rain today and you had a good time. 7 a.m. tomorrow, I have a couple showers in the forecast. I think the first part of the day tomorrow is really going to be more dry than wet. Temperatures are going to be chilly, especially outside of Portland, where we have that frost advisory in place through the morning hours. About the lower 40s though around Portland when you're heading out, expect to be pretty dry through the morning till about midday and then we'll see some showers and the potential for a couple thunderstorms for your Monday. Let me show you what's going on late tonight. We still have some moisture hanging around, but not nearly as wet or as active as what we had going on earlier today. We have that broad area of low pressure and just sporadic showers and snowfall there and bursts of snowfall there up on the mountain. Today rain totals were up and down. It was kind of hit or miss with some of those rain showers. We had really heavy downpours around the Portland metro area, but kind of just clipped the airport. So our rain totals from Vancouver to Portland there, really close to the Columbia River, really not that impressive, but out towards Hillsborough, down through McMinnville, a quarter of an inch, a little bit more than that. And we just had isolated spots around Portland that had about a quarter of an inch as well. Okay, precip chance as we go into our Monday back at it, Tuesday and Wednesday, pretty dry. Thursday is going to be a wet day, and then we'll have to watch Friday heading into Saturday. I mentioned that broad area of low pressure. That's the trough, that kink in the jet stream here. We had a wave of energy. We'll have another one as it builds in and across the area for our Monday. You can see it kind of dip down to the south here. So as long as we keep this upper level troughing in place, it's just going to be a bit cool and it's going to be pretty active. And that has really been the theme for our late April and into our May now. And as we continue our next week of May, we're going to see something similar. But on Wednesday, we have this little ridge form, really brief. It should dry us up for a few days, as I mentioned, before we have more action heading into uh, Friday and maybe for the start of Saturday before our stronger ridge develops, hopefully heading into Sunday. That should warm us up. Cool the Pacific Northwest day in the 50s. Warmer to the south, though, New Mexico, Texas temperatures in the 90s, 96 degrees for Phoenix today. Very warm and dry there. In fact, they have an extreme risk for fire weather going on tomorrow. And uh, that whole section of the four corner states uh, and expanding into Texas, something that we definitely aren't talking about yet here in the Pacific Northwest, but uh, really some big, big concerns there. Okay, so future cast as we headed to tonight, a couple spotty showers. As I mentioned, there's Monday morning, still pretty active through the day. We dry up as we head into Monday night into Tuesday, and you can see by Tuesday morning there, pretty dry for us here in the Willamette Valley. 60 degrees on Tuesday, 61 on Wednesday. There's Thursday and Friday, pretty wet as I mentioned. That's going into Saturday as well. For now, tentatively, Wayne, maybe some 70s next weekend, but it's going to be cool tomorrow and wet. Maybe two dry days in the next seven. That's if we're lucky. Oh, if we're lucky. Okay, thank you. When we come back.